Hello, my name is Marilyn Parker Jeffries. My name is Rabbi Andy Bachman. Hey, my name is Rodney White. Hi, everyone. My name is Atara Ritterman. Hi, my name is Sophia Poole. My name is Arlene Seipen. Hi, I'm Tiffany Wolf. Hi, my name is Bob Morris. My name is Elizabeth Christ. My family used to sing at all our Jewish holiday meals together. Um, and although my brother and my mother and father are all gone now, um, these melodies remain deep in my soul. This is um, one from the Passover Seder. Ah, dear who, ah, dear who, live me be so When I walked in and saw the photographs of her grandparents, it brought back many memories for me. My grandparents were Jewish immigrants. They came to this country with nothing and did well and loved this country very much. I have a sister who is a Trump supporter and it's been um, a, a, a thick strain on our relationship. Uh, we were always very close. I think one of the things that I took away from this exhibition is that carrying different traditions like going to family reunions and weddings and even funerals, they will teach you how much everyone will be united and how much family will really be there for you because we're not always promised tomorrow. One of my favorite traditions is simply sitting around the dinner table, eating home-cooked food and just talking about our day and staying those pockets of peace, you know, those, those little things that happened. And I've just realized it's the little things that make all the difference. And that's, that's truly my, my favorite tradition in this family and it's something that I'm going to take with me wherever I go. One family tradition that we have is I make banana caramel pancakes every Saturday morning and my oldest thinks they're just the best pancakes in the world and she would eat every last one of them and not save one for my youngest <laughs> if I let her. The other thing that really touched me was Jillian Jillian's relationship with her grandmother and watching her grandmother weaken and change, become someone different. Although she tried to the bitter end to put on that makeup every day, which was the same as my grandmother, my beautiful grandmother. Seeing Family Matters made me feel so grateful that my family was not divided politically. As immigrants, my parents may have been even more liberal than my sisters and brother and I. I'm only glad my mom and dad don't have to witness how fiercely divided the country is now. I'd like to sing a song for you that my mother used to sing for me every night before bed. You and me against the world Sometimes it feels like you and me against the world When all the others turn their back and walk away one of the things that really translated for me was the correlation between my Southern Geechee Gullah family. Every summer we would attend um, a family reunion and watching and looking at, you know, the pictures from the exhibit, it just brought back all types of memories for me, especially for those that had already transcended. In terms of family rituals that I love that this exhibit touched upon, family meals, food, talking, interrupting, expressing love through a variety of tastes and sounds is one of the most important things to me about being Jewish. I just want to share with you this song, actually a prayer that the Spirit gave to me when I was praying for my mother who was battling Alzheimer's and I didn't have the words to pray anymore. I come asking you, Lord, what else can I do? I'm asking you, Lord, believing thy word is true. I'm asking you, Lord, to do what your word says you'll do. The thing I loved about this exhibition is it really makes you look at your own family dynamics. I lost my parents very young and now I'm left with the pictures. 
I'm left with the memories of my family. Um, and what I would give to go back and have one more conversation with my mom, have one more hug from my dad. I would love to have that moment again. And if you do, whatever you call your family, are able to reach out and tell them something, whether it's I love you or I'm sorry, or I'm just glad you're here, it would be a really nice thing to take away from this experience. Mm -hmm.